Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am excited to be showing you the Spellbinders Large Die of the Month Club for January 2019. And before I begin, let me just apologize for this weird lighting. It really is only for the first like two minutes of the video and then it gets much better. But I'm first going to show you all of the dies that you get in this month's kit for the large die. This is jam packed with stuff and goodies. We're going to go into all the dies and what they do, but here is a quick overview. So you get these two sort of coordinating heart dies, this uh, word die that says cherish a bunch of floral and leaves and vines, a little bow die, and then this sort of funky die that was there on the right. And I'll show you what that is all about when I construct my card. First, I just want to show you how the heart dies work in this kit. Now, I'm not using the heart dies for my card today, but I wanted to show you how they cut and how you can use them together or separately. So this is the standard heart die that comes. It just cuts the heart out as you would think that it would. So you can use either the positive or the negative of the die. And then here you've got this sort of accoutrement die and it's got this lacy scalloped edge and it's going to cut out the outside of this heart. So the entire inside of the heart will be whole and solid unless you do what I just did here and place that heart die in the center of the scalloped edge heart. You don't have to do that, but I just wanted to show you that you could use them together to create this heart frame, which I think is really, really cool. And it immediately screamed shaker card to me. Uh, so I just wanted to show you that it was really easy to create this shaker card frame with the hearts in the, uh, or the heart dies in the kit. So let's go ahead and start constructing the card that I'll be making today. I'm going to use this die, which looks a bit confusing. And this is how what it cuts out. You can see there that there is some score lines and those are to fold. So it looks a bit like a koi fish to me at first, um, but it is not that at all. So I'm going to go ahead and fold all of these score lines where they in, are intended to fold and you'll just be able to fold them since they were scored and now they're easy to fold. I will say though, this is very tiny. So if you have big fingers like I do, you might just wanna pay a little bit of extra attention. But anyway, this is what it comes out to be and it is a paper bag for the florals, sort of like you bought flowers at a market and then they put them in there and I love it. I was so excited to learn that this is what that did. So that's what I decided to focus on today. I'm going to be using two different colors of green cardstock to cut out some of the vines uh, or the vine dies just to get a little bit of a differentiation in color. And then I'm going to use lots of fun, bright colors with these teensy tiny little flowers that are included in the kit. And these come three per die. So I only needed to cut out one of them to get three flowers. I'm going to go in with all of them and fold up the petals just to give a little bit of dimension and that way it'll pop up out of the card almost like an actual flower. I'm going to use my art glitter glue and this is not glittery. I know that sometimes people get a little bit confused. Uh, it's, it's just the name of the company but it has this really fine tip that you can add to it and it's really helpful for things like this when I'm trying to work in very small areas. As I am gluing these leaves and the vines down inside the paper bag of the flower bouquet, I want to make sure that I don't put glue on any part that's going to hang out of the paper bag because I don't want it to stick to my cardstock right now. I'm actually going to leave that completely unadhered when I do the card later so that it's popping up, like I said, and giving that 3D look. But I just want to make sure that for right now, I'm only gluing the actual part that's going to be in the paper bag. I go ahead and cut some extras just to stick it out from the bottom of the paper bag too, to make it look like the flower stems are long and they're coming out of the bottom. And now I'm just going to go ahead and adhere my flowers. And to do that, I'm just going to put a tiny little dot in the center of the back and adhere it to some of the vines that are coming up and out from the paper bag die. 
This just makes it so that it again gives a little bit of dimension. And as I said, when I adhere this all to my card front, I'm going to leave the vines free so that they move around a little bit and it looks like a real bouquet of flowers. I decided to go ahead and stick that last flower as if it were sort of poking up through the paper bag just to drive home the illusion of everything coming out of the top of the paper bag. And now I'm going to use the same fine tip with the glitter or the art glitter glue to adhere the portions of the bag together. And I do go off frame a little bit here, so I am really sorry, but I just wanted to show you that I really only adhere it in two spots. So the bottom where they meet and then the top where the two folds meet and that very front fold, I leave sort of unadhered and open just so that it looks like the bag is just falling over a little bit. And then I go ahead and take an acrylic block and just center it off center. I don't want to put it onto the flowers just to make sure that it doesn't flatten it, but I put the acrylic block on there so that it dries and the bag stays adhered. So as you can see, there's a tiny little spot there where you can see the green stems coming through. And I believe that that's probably where the bow die is meant to go. But I went in a different direction and I cut the word cherish, the uh, word die cherish, out of some black cardstock three times. And I'm going to glue one on top of another to form a little bit of a thicker, almost like a chipboard word die type deal. And I'm going to adhere this over the bottom portion of that uh, bouquet of flowers so that the word covers up that little spot there. And I just like the clean look of it. I think it looks really great. And I went ahead and added some bronzy gold Nouveau drops to the center of all of my flowers, just to give it a little bit of something, a little bit of shine. And to adhere the bouquet of flowers, I put some glue just on the bag, the back of the bag, just to make sure that that was glued down. But I left, as I said before, the vines and the flowers free so they're not actually adhered to the card. I also went ahead and adhered this card front, which is by the way, cut to three and three quarters by five inches. And I adhered that to a four and an eighth by five and three eighths piece of black cardstock, just to match the black of the sentiment cherish. I adhered that all with foam tape to an A2 sized card base. And then I was done. I kept this really simple and clean because I really love the intricate dye and I love all the colors and how it looks all together. As always, all of the products as are linked in the description, as well as all of the information on the Spellbinders dye of the month kits. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks so much. Bye.